Amadu Tijani shows me where he was imprisoned for more than a year and a half. He shared the cell with 16 other people. Most of the inmates were political opponents of the ousted president, Francois Bozizé. Amadou was sentenced without trial. He was accused of selling satellite phone credit to rebels. This was head of state Francois Bozizé's personal prison. His military did whatever they wanted here, beating people, torturing them, and we saw people killed from our cell. Two days before the rebels known as Selika took the capital, they captured Bosambeli military base. Amadou and the other prisoners here were released. This is where the former regime kept most of its heavy weaponry. Located 175 kilometers from the capital, it's on the crossroads to many strategic parts of the country. The weapons and most of the ammunition are now in rebel hands. Close to the base, is a larger prison known to locals as Guantanamo. It was built by the former government in 2003. There were hundreds of people jailed here, some for as long as five years. There were criminals, but many of the inmates were political opponents of the former president. When the prisoners were freed by Selika rebels, they left behind things like blankets, mats, clothing, and even this Bible here. The conditions in this cell were terrible. There were 30 to 40 people here at any one time. They only had a few hours of access to the outside world and their families couldn't visit. They could only speak to them from across these walls. Maybe is this photo? Yeah. Eric Massey's father, Charles Massey, was a former government minister who went missing in 2009. Eric is convinced he was tortured to death in Bossombelli prison. My father was uh, uh, tortured by uh, the president Bozizé himself and uh, by uh, some of his uh, people. Most of the records at the prison are now gone and people may never know what really happened here. The new rebel government has promised to keep the place closed. It represents yet another dark chapter in the history of this country. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Bosambelli.